So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will cover up all the related questions that can be asked to you from different joins that are available in Power Query Editor in Power BI. And this question is very frequently asked. Okay, so you should definitely know what is the exact difference, what you have to speak in front of the interviewer. As you might not be aware about this, that whatever answer you go get in the SQL front from the SQL front, you do not get in Power BI. And I can tell you 90% of the people won't know about this, won't be aware about this. I can tell you this thing. So, okay, so please do watch the video completely as I will discuss each and everything. And at the end of the video, you will feel much confident about this question. Okay, so let's start with this question. And at the beginning of the video only, I will discuss about what is null in Power BI. Okay, so the null or blank in SQL is not the same is what null here in power bi okay i will prove it also why i am saying this okay because the the answers will be dependent on this null value also if we have in, uh, loaded any table in power query okay and if it is blank so what power query editor show as you can see here on the screen it will show the null values whichever uh, values come as blank from the source it will show as null values okay if it is a uh, whole number text uh, data type columns okay so it will show you the null val null value here okay and you all must be knowing that null is not equal to null right this is what we generally know okay but here i will prove you that null is equal to null in power query in power bi okay so this difference you might not be knowing till now but through this video you must know that null is equal to null in power query now let us prove that first and then we will be confident about it okay so as you can see here i have one table called as null verify where i have two columns column a column b okay and as you can see here i have few values like 10 1 null 2 3 okay and here i have 2 10 5 null 6 7 so here i will create one another column where i will compare these two columns and the resultant what i will say in the resultant if it is if the value in column a is equal to the value of column in b then give me the result as 1 otherwise give me the result as 0 and let's see what does this record shows to us the result of this record and if it shows 1 then you should know that null is equal to null in power query okay so let us create that first column custom column where i will uh, compare these two columns values okay so if column a is equal to column b then 1 else 0 okay no syntax error let us click ok and see the result and as you can see here for this particular record for the first record 10 is equal to 10 so it has shown as 1 but for this record where null was written in both the uh, values with both the columns so here also the result is one only so that proves that in power query null is equal to null always remember this point and that's why interviewer will ask you this question in power query because because there will be difference in the result what we expect in sql is different and here it will be different so here what the what what results will come we will discuss today one by one that only so now it is clear to you this part now let us go to the left table that i have considered here so I have one sing, uh, simple left table which I have named it as left table and I have one column here where it has values like 4, 5, 5, null, 10, 10, 15. Okay. And we have a right table named table. So here we have 5, null, 6, null, 10, 12. So out of these two tables, the column values that, say, that are same are 5 and 10 and null also, right? As I have showed you just a few seconds ago. So 5, null and 10 from right table and 5 null and 10 10 from left table now let us try to merge these two queries with different merge options that are available in power query and let us see what does the result comes out to be so i'll go to the home tab click on this merge queries as new okay so i will select this column click on the right table choose this column and i will first of all start with the inner join okay let us click on this ok button and let's see what does the result i will name it as inner okay inner join now see the result what does the result comes out to be i will uh, generate this column expand this column 
and see we have got the records all the records of 5 all the records of nulls and all the records of 10 and what happened in inner join what happens in inner join all the matching records will be shown right since both the columns are ident identical we, we can delete either of them okay so and uh, you must be knowing matching records means it does the cartesian product so for example uh, if i go to the uh, left table so i have uh, two records of 5 if i go to the right table i have one record of 5 so 2 into 1 so total two records in the final uh, table so that's why in the here we have two records here similarly for null similarly for 10 okay so this is how we got we get the result of uh, inner join now let us see what does left outer tell us let of left outer means all the matching records plus the values that are left in the left table okay so this is the left table this is the right table and we'll go with the left outer join okay so i will uh, rename it as left outer or left join simply okay now let us expand this okay now after expanding as you can see here uh, all the records all the matching records are present with expanded form and the left records which were 4 and 15 now what, what i will do i will delete this particular column and this is the final result that we will give after that we will get after doing the left outer join 4 5 5 null null 10 10 15 i hope left outer results are clear to you now let's move to the right outer so similar to the uh, uh, right out, uh, left outer we will do the right outer and here what does the result comes out to be let's see so click on this click on the right table so now what will happen all the records all the matching records plus the uh, records which are present in the, in the in the in the right table so the extra record that is present in the right table is 6 now let us choose the uh, uh, right outer join here and let us see the result here okay let us expand that and as you can see here this is the final result that we wanted to have so what i will do i will remove this column so 5 5 null null 10 10 6 and 12 so all the matching records plus the uh, ones which were uh, uh, left in the right table so that is what we have got in the right join now let us move ahead with the left anti join okay what does left anti join says left anti join says whatever is left like excluding the matching records in the left table give me that result so left table is this and right table is this okay these are the two matching uh, columns so if you can see here 5 5 null and 10 are the matching ones only the 4 is there which is non matching or which will be left in the left table so let us see what does the result comes out to be in the left entry so we have to select left entry also here left entry okay so 4 and 15 were there 15 was hided so that's why it was not visible there so what i will do here i will first rename it rename it to left entry and after that i will expand this okay and then i will delete this column so 4 and 15 are the ones which are left entry records okay and as you can see here as we have seen here 4 and, and 15 were the ones which were not matching so i hope left entry is also clear to you similarly we will go with the right entry and in right entry what should be the displayed values it should contain 6 and 12 and that, that's what it was there let us see what is what does the result comes out to be so this is the matching column right nt and see the result okay so here uh, oh, we will expand it first and as you can see here 6 and 12 were the ones which were not matching in the and left in the right table so left, uh, right nt gives us the this result so we will remove this column and this is our final result here and i and thus i will rename it to right nt okay now let us proceed with the last join operation that is full outer full outer means all the records of all the tables that means non matching ones mat non matching ones from the left table matching ones from the uh, both the tables and the non matching ones from the right table so again we will go to the left table 
merge queries as new okay now click this column select right table choose this column and full outer and let us see the result here full outer i will first rename it so full outer results we can see here now and this is the final full re full outer result we are having we are getting all the left nt records matching records and right nt records all at the same place so i hope all the inner all the type of joins that are present in power query is clear to you you are clear that here null values are taken into consideration because it is equal to null is equal to null and let me know in the comment box how many of you are unaware of this thing okay so that is what i wanted to discuss with this video i hope you got the explanation and so if you like the content please hit the like button and share it all share it with your all your friends and colleagues who are preparing for the interviews or will prepare for the interviews in the coming time okay so stay okay so stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you